Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with 2020 Panini Mosaic Football 20 box blaster break. Love this stuff. We're already on Pick Your Team 21. Big thanks everybody for getting into all of these cases. Uh, originally this was going to be delayed, but one distributor had it delayed and they said it was going to be coming later instead of today. But then another distributor, I think, sent us a case. So I guess we had our, we had our bases covered. So big thanks all of these folks for getting into it and finishing off this break. Really appreciate it. Um, let's randomize the bangles to somebody, shall we? So let's sort by column A. Alex V got two spots. That's an entry. Anthony P got two spots. That's one entry. Derwin, two spots. That's an entry. EA, two spots. That's an entry. Greg B, you got three. You probably block someone from getting in with that three right there, but still two teams, one entry. Jerry Remington, two teams, one entry. Jack L, two teams, one entry. Joe M, two teams, one entry. Lawrence V, two teams, one entry. Michael G, Steel Curtain with six teams, three entries. Right here, Nick Stover, two teams, one entry. Richard A, two teams, one entry. And Will Jones, two teams, one entry. I think everyone got at least two, right? Yeah, everyone got at least two. Well, good. All right, so there's everybody right here. Thank you. Let's roll it. Let's randomize it. Two and a one, three times. Name on top after a three gets the bangles in this break. One, good luck. Two, and third and final time. Alex, back on top with last spot mojo after three. Congrats to him. Last spot mojo paid off right there. Now let's see if this case cooperates with you, Alex. Got a little uh, World Series baseball happening. My Dodgers up 2-1, bottom of the fifth. Glasnow's pitching well. Kershaw's pitching well. We've got a bit of a duel here. And a leadoff walk to Mookie Betts, huh? Maybe, uh, maybe, maybe steal a base, steal a taco. Is that still happening this year? Mookie can steal a base. All right, so you can see on the top camera right here: one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five times four. All 20 boxes are right here. No trade windows in this next over, but but he still try he still wants to try to get the try to trade couldn't trade mojo. We want tacos. For now, Kyle Kramer, for now. There it is. Did we get tacos? Steal a base, steal a taco. Thanks, Mookie Betts. I think next week there's like a time window where you can get a free taco from Taco Bell. This break brought to you by Taco Bell. 160 packs is a lot of work, Mark Rubin. It's not as bad as uh, Bowman Draft or Bowman Baseball whenever we do those breaks. 
This will this will take me about forty five minutes or so. Those Bowman draft breaks can take forever. <laughs> Next Wednesday, says Joe Buck, you can get a taco. Thanks, Movie Bets. No, I could use a, a two-row shoebox, shoe please. Now, Kyle's, Kyle Seeger, Corey Seeger has been raking. He's been hitting as well as Otto Zarania, believe it or not. So let's see what let's see what Mr. Corey Seeger can do here. He's already got two walks on the day. No outs. Third walk of the day for, for Corey Seager. Maybe the the unintentional intentional walk. I like those thin ones. Oh, we don't, I don't. I I gave those away. Yeah. I, I sent them back to the shipping team. They should there should be some back there unless you used them all. Pets got back just in time. Oh, he was caught just leaning the. Woo. Brandon Nayak. Great win for the for the banged up Niners. Got a big win over the weekend. That'll go to the Niners. There they are. Derwin with the Niners. Go for it. Tom Brady out dueling Aaron Rodgers. Ooh. 
Ooh, just pitch to him, Glasnow. Ooh. Clyde Edwards Elaire. Kansas City going with the run big time. Clyde Edwards Elaire, the beneficiary of that. That's a green parallel, too. That's a good looking one for uh, Greg B. And the Kansas City Chiefs. Got another rookie green here. Oh. Wow. Betts stole third. Justin Turner strikes out. Betts stole steals third. Nice. And we got Jimmy Ward scripts autograph for the San Francisco 49ers. That'll be for Derwin. A double seal, nonetheless. Justin Herbert, NFL debut. He got a break. He had a bye. Sean, who are your Chargers playing this week? I actually don't remember off the top of my head. Uh, that goes to the Bolts. That's going to be for... Greg B with the Chargers too. Jags? Is that going to be Justin Herbert's first W right there? Oh, he already has one. He, no, yeah, that's what I thought. So Jaguars are not going to be the Chargers' first W? You're sucking for who? This is a family show, Sean. Don't do well for Suell. Who's this? Who's who? He's a left tackle from Oregon. Oh, okay. Wow. So you think the Chargers are gonna get the second pick in the draft? Is that where they're going for? I think the Jets and the Giants are gonna be right there taking that left tackle. That's safe. What base running my bets? Wait, sorry, Sean. What were you saying? Jets, I mean, let's be Jets you don't think the Jets are going to take a left tackle? No, the Jets are going to have a new head coach. They're going to take quarterbacks. What about the Giants? You don't think the Giants are going to take a left tackle? Uh, For Daniel to protect Daniel Jones? That Jalen Hurts Green goes to uh, Joe M, by the way. What what are the other quarterbacks in the in the draft? I mean, it's got to be like Okay, interesting. When did North Dakota State become a quarterback factory? Yeah. The Mason stick, the best of all three. Wow. Sean Jaspi, Chargers fan, profess still professing his love for Easton Stick. Next box, folks. Good luck. Our next five boxes here. Let's unpack all of these guys. Now is already at 108 pitches in the bottom of the fifth. 
might be his last inning right here. He's looking for a double play. I'm still firing 97 in there. Good pitch. I don't understand why the. I'm sorry, this is a football break. I, uh, but I don't understand why, why the Pirates gave up Tyler Glass now and Austin Meadows to get Chris Archer. Just seemed like. It, I mean, maybe hindsight's twenty twenty, but it seems like such an odd move. I know Chris Archer's contract was very, very, very team friendly, especially if he. I mean, he injury doesn't help. Will Smith dumps one into center field. Seager scores. Muncy holds it third. Nice. Ryan, LC Ryan saying one of the worst trades. Got the GM fired. Yeah. That's not good. Because I feel like that year that it's not like the, it's not like the Pirates were were like a Chris Archer away from, you know, from like a playoff spot or something like that, or that they had this young team coming up, they needed them to anchor a rotation. They were just rebuilding. Why not just rebuild with those, with Glasnow and Austin Meadows? That's right, Jay. Dodgers doing well. Rex is saying anyone can have Craig Kimbrell if they want. Yeah, I think, I think the days of, Craig Kimmerl being sought after, I think, is now is now over. We got a rookie, Denzel Mims, rookie green. I like how this Kershaw commercial has him considering a changeup when he throws maybe one changeup a year. We got Brandon Ayak, Mosaic for Derwin and the Niners. And there's Miami starter, starting quarterback, Tua Tagovailoa, green parallel for Miami. Jack L with the Dolphins. Made, made his debut last week and will make his first start this week. What does everyone expect from Tua Tagovailoa this Sunday? I don't even know who he's playing.
Miami is – oh, they're on a bye for week seven. There you go. Isn't that what we – isn't that what we predicted? Nice Terrell Davis. Not predicted. I, th I think it was a pretty obvious spot if they wanted to change quarterbacks, but – there's Terrell Davis, fluorescent orange for EA and the Broncos. But right, so they, they, they played the Jets. They comfortably beat the Jets. Tua got a little bit of time. He gets the bye. I think he sees the Jets again in week eight. Or did that change because of all the COVID stuff? Oh, I think it did change. Now, they're going to be Los Angeles Rams or at Miami in week eight. That'll be an interesting, interesting matchup there. There he is again. I think it was supposed to be Jets by Jets. But that's our also well. So we'll see too. How does everyone think he's going to do against the Rams? He'll be in Miami. He'll be at home, hosting the Rams and Aaron Donald. Certainly has the uh, certainly has the should have the mobility to uh, to run around a little bit. Mark Rubin saying Cowboys want Fitzpatrick. Yeah, I heard I heard that. I heard that. Well, I heard from someone earlier today in the chat. They were saying this could to a starting could be paving the way for. Fitzpatrick to be to be traded to a contender that doesn't have a backup. Or a contender, you know. Could could still be the could still be the Cowboys there. Maybe No, not Pittsburgh, they'll be fine. To Pittsburgh, I think someone was saying uh Dwayne Haskins could be interesting. Chase Claypool balling out. There he is, Chase Claypool Green for Michael Gallucci and the Steelers. I think someone was saying Haskins could be an interesting uh, choice to go to Pittsburgh to marinate behind Roethlisberger for another season or two, however long Roethlisberger wants to play. He's looking good this year. So next season or two for Roethlisberger before he hangs him up. Dwayne Haskins marinates a little bit, gets a little experience here and there. He's got a lot of weapons to throw to. And I think Pittsburgh has a pretty solid offensive line, right? That'll that he so he'll have a little extra time to make decisions. Well, I could think that could be very interesting. Still young. Be close to Ohio. Stober thinks Fitzpatrick would be would be great in Dallas. I don't know how. Maybe it's that maybe it's that Harvard education, you guys, because Fitzpatrick seems to just drop into any team, learn the language of that of that of that team really quickly, and then is like an effective player. And he's just got the ability to improvise, of course. But but yeah, he he seems you seem like he could just slot him in anywhere. And, and within a week, he'll he'll grasp the playbook pretty quickly, at least the basics of it and the, some of the key language, and then he's out there making plays. I thought Andy Dalton would be a lot better yesterday. Right, yeah, see, if... If Fitzpatrick's putting up points with the Dolphins, can you imagine what he'd do with with Ezekiel Elliott, CeeDee Lamb, Amari Cooper, Michael Gallup? That 
That offensive line is a little demolished. Yeah, they lost Zach Martin yesterday. Right. Maybe they do better with the mobile quarter here, Sean Jaspi. Trying to make some moves. Jerry Jones, if you're listening, Sean Jaspi thinks that maybe a mobile quarterback is, is better with that decimated offensive line. Perhaps one Easton Stick, who's currently just sitting around doing not doing much in here in Los Angeles with the Chargers. And Easton Stick maybe gets a gets a fair shake. Nice single. Run scored, Chris Taylor. You think the Dolphins regret letting Tannehill go? No, no. Is it? I don't think so. I think I think they were, had eyes on rebuilding anyway. I think they moved Tannehill when they could, I guess. Got some picks for him. Right? I think they got picks for him. They, they, if you think about all their trades they made with Tannehill and Fitzpa Minka Fitzpatrick and, and, and a bunch of a couple other players, I feel like. They have accumulated a lot of draft picks. They got their number one. They got their quarterback, hopefully, in Tua this year. So I think everyone. They, I think they're thinking everyone's going to kind of emerge and grow around the same time. Is what they're hoping. They have Houston's first and second. For for who? The Tunsil deal, right? In 2021? Wow. See, yeah. So, no, I don't think so. I think the Dolphins did a smart thing. They, they ripped the Band-Aid off. You know, they could have hung around with Tannehill for a little while and then try to piece something together around him and blah, 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 blah. And, you know, and they've seen that story before. They know what Tannehill could do with that team. So they already know. So tear the Band-Aid off. Move Tannehill. Start over. Blow it up. And they did. And I think that wasn't a bad idea. Tannehill's perfect for the Titans, though. Because the Titans, on the other hand, they were they were just like, man, we got Derrick Henry. We got Corey Davis. We got A.J. Brown. We got John U. Smith. We got a decent offensive line. We got a good defense. We got good coaching. There's another hit. So they've got all that. Dodgers up 6-1. So they've got all that. And for them, they were like, man, if we just have someone who can just be smart with the football, take advantage of these weapons, you know, with some experience. And then I think Tannehill's one of those guys, and I think he's been perfect for that team. All right, here are the next five boxes. Dodgers up 6-1 now. Love it. All those Brady's go to Derwin and the Buccaneers. There's Henry Ruggs the third. I think he was recovering from a hamstring issue. Looked like he was past those issues against the Chiefs a couple weeks ago. Now he's got a bye week. He can rest that up even more is what I'm hoping. Henry or Brian Edwards, I think, has an ankle issue. And hopefully he used the bye week to heal up there. There's Clyde Edwards E. Lair, just a regular base card. Greg B. with the base. NFL debut, Joe Burrow. 
Joe Burrow just just shy of a of a win last week. Alex with the uh, Bengals, but a lot of, I mean, he looks like he's the he's the real deal, right, Joe Burrow? There's T. Higgins, his buddy, his teammate. T. Higgins could start emerging along with Joe Burrow. It'd be a dangerous combination. There's been some talk. I feel like there's been some rumblings about AJ Green possibly, uh, possibly on the move. What do the Bengals need with AJ Green? You could pick up. I feel like they could pick up some great draft picks for uh, for that. You don't think Carson Wentz would love an AJ Green on his team? There's Brian Edwards right there. I don't know if Jets would make a move for him, but but I'm thinking of teams with like maybe a, a, a contender that could use a receiver. You know, do the do the Colts want to want a AJ Green on their team? You know, I don't know what's going on with Michael Thomas, but the Saints want a AJ Green on their team. I think the Niners want an AJ Green on their team. There's an NFL day, another NFL debut, Joe Burrow for Alex V. And a green Joe Burrow, nice. There you go. It's a nice parallel here. Joe Burrow, base card, green parallel. Alex Velasquez. Velasacos, that is, with the Joe Burrow. Got randomized it. What? No, no, I'm good. Thank you, though. All right, and the next five boxes coming up. All right, and the final five boxes, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you. Now, what are what are our week? Any, any interesting week seven matchups coming up? Ooh, the battle for the NFC East on Thursday night, folks. New York at Philadelphia. Philadelphia's got to win this one, right? They have to. They want to. They need to. Fun, uh, fun matchups here. Pittsburgh at Tennessee should be a fun matchup, right? I think they're both undefeated. Yeah, both Pittsburgh and Tennessee are both 5-0. and Pittsburgh at Tennessee, two 5-0 and teams. Who wins? This is, looks like a pretty even matchup, I think. Mark Rubin, with a World Series MVP, does Kershaw ascend to the to, to top five all-time left-handed pitchers with Randy Johnson and Sandy Koufax? Yeah, I think so. I think that kind of kind of takes takes the uh, the demons away. I think it really does. Tristan, yeah, I'm on. Yeah, congrats. Well, listen, it, it was a great matchup. It was a great series. I, th I thought I thought the Braves really had the Dodgers number, and the Dodgers just just managed to managed to squeak out that series.
Listen, Tristan, the, the Braves are Ronald Acuna, Ozzy Albies. Those guys are going to be around. Mike Soroka, Ian Anderson, Max Freed. Those guys are going to be around for a Dansby Swanson. Those guys are going to be around for a long time. You know, so. And, you know, Albies is going to be around a lot longer than Kershaw. Kershaw's at the sunset of his career, so. I think the future is pretty bright. Dodgers got to put some good youngsters too, but we're going to have to see who emerges to be. What a throw from Turner. What a catch and throw. Dodgers have a weird window. They've got this, this Kershaw, Justin Turner, Kenley Jansen window kind of closing while that sort of Bellinger, Corey Seager window is slowly opening, but... But, you know, they, they pretty much. And the and the bets window, of course. So it'll be interesting to see what the Dodgers do. But I'd like them to knock this one out. <laughs> before, like, the Padres start getting really good. Before the White Sox start getting really good. And Braves have money, too, Tristan. You know, Braves have money. How old is Freddie Freeman? I mean, he's not a spring chicken anymore. Yeah, Freeman's 31, so he probably has another solid, like, another three more seasons of him doing what he did this season. You know, and then maybe a couple, maybe it's another three more seasons where he kind of declines a little bit. So he can probably play until 36, right? All right, so. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, I, th I think he's going to have another three or three or four seasons where he's having a season like he did this year before we even start talking about a decline. So yeah, and plus all those youngsters and Braves have a nice new stadium and I don't think they're afraid of spending money when they need to. So maybe when a big free agent or two emerges, they'll take advantage of that and So yeah, so I, I think the Braves are going to be be around for a long time. Interesting. Kershaw only has like seventy eight pitches through through six. Some, that's some great efficiency there. Yeah, imagine Trevor Bauer on that on on that starting rotation. And what's this, and what you still have Felix Hernandez under contract? No, didn't he sign for like two years? I don't know what happens if you opt out for COVID reasons, and then does he still owe the team another year? How much does Magic Johnson get credit for the Dodger World Series? None. <laughs> like, whatever his ownership stake is. Like, 1%? No, Magic Johnson... I mean, he has a lot more to do with the Lakers championship. Uh, his fingerprints are all over that. But I think for the Dodgers, I, think, I don't think he does any day-to-day -day stuff. In fact, I almost want to say he he had to – maybe he didn't. Did he have to shell his, sell his share of the Dodgers when he joined on as late in the Lakers front office? It's A.J. Dillon, NFL debut green. Right, imagine if Soroka was healthy. Because Soroka's the one who like shredded his like Achilles or ACL coming off the mound on a defensive play. Something like that, right? But imagine, I don't know if the Dodgers get out of the NLCF Soroka's around.
Achilles, right? Yeah, that's what it was. There's Antonio Gibson Silver for Alex in Washington. Jacob Eason, Nick Stover. And look at this. This is really cool. 13 out of 25, fluorescent orange, Teddy Bridgewater. Carolina Panthers, Michael Gallucci. Teddy Bridgewater playing some good football. He looks like he's back to his old self, if not better. Maybe even better. I feel like he's had he's had a number of years just absorbing the game. I think he's just a smarter, smarter player now. And looks like he's back to his old self health-wise. He's scampering around like he used to. It's awesome. Ooh, bets, yard. I think Genesis Travis only exists in uh, those mosaic cello packs, not in the oh. They're in the blasters too. Tyler Eifert Genesis, you called it, Travis. I thought they only existed in the cello packs, but I guess they're in the blaster cases too. Uh, Alex with the Bengals. Nice Genesis. Paying attention to this baseball game here. Oh, yeah, you definitely should wait. I mean, in my opinion, you should wait in, for any Rays or Dodgers players in the World Series right now. You would wait until after the World Series. What if Justin Turner ends up being, being a World Series MVP? Go, 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 go. That's a home run. Isn't it off the line? Replay. There's Derek Brown, rookie mosaic, Panthers, Michael. NFL debut, Jordan Love Green. That's going to go to Greg and the Packers. Well, that's what I thought, but I guess not. Well, Rex. Oof. Well, judging from the way Justin Turner just hit that ball, Rex, I think he's going to have a nice series. Yellow line is out? I guess That's not. what I thought, but maybe it hit just under it. No, it hit the yellow line. I think it's taken if he hit the yellow line. I think it's out. I guess, yeah, I guess maybe Texas field home rules are different. Yeah. Well, there you go, ladies and gentlemen. But do you play by the uh, home team's home rules, or do you play by the stadium's home rules? Probably the stadium home rules. And there you go, ladies and gentlemen. Not a bad break at all. Uh, keep your eye out for more of this stuff on jazbeescasebreaks.com. I'm Joe, and I'll break more football with you next time. Bye-bye. Go Dodgers.